All right, well, I think we've got who we're going to start with at least, so I'm going to go ahead and kick us off. I told Chris a little bit uh, before he showed up that once again, I observed while uploading our YouTube video that there were a few things that I missed last session, so I'm just going to revisit a couple areas that we uh, had visited previously and wrap up some loose ends, and then we'll, we'll get started on our forward progress tonight. All right. Boy, I love the fast chain whip. One of them is I'm going to revisit the areas that have these rune words and unlock them all. So that one was just for some money, but I think we still do need a little bit of money. And there is one over here with the weird elephant, please. This guy. Oops. I thought I was immune to ghosts. Did I not get that item yet? I guess not. Nope. I don't remember you getting any immunity items at all. Okay. Offer three lights to the heavens is the clue here, and they're just saying you need to use your flares to... Oops. Light these lights here. What, what are my buttons? I know how to do this. Oh, I didn't turn it on. That's why. And I missed. I only have eight, so let me be a little bit careful about this. I think the crucifix makes me immune to... Ba no, it makes me immune to ghosts. Okay, that's great. Eh, yeah. hey, no more worrying about them. Something... The Bible makes me immune to bats. Oh, and that I have to pay for. I remember. Uh, okay, I'm going through a checklist here, so bear with me. Yeah, we did that. We did that. Um, the thing that I walked right by was a tablet in the Temple of Moonlight. So I'm going to go there and examine it. I have a feeling it's a blank tablet, but I didn't I didn't ever examine it, I noticed. And while I'm in there, I'm going to complete the dumb shortcut that I don't think is useful at all. Um Stupid ant. Stupid other ant. So I think I never looked at this tablet here. It is glowing. So let's do that now. And it says, okay, grind down the pyramid, remove the top of the watchtower, the wall will crumble, and that should reach the underworld. So that's a clue about how we break off the tip of the pyramid and it breaks through the ground and we fight Anubis, which we have already done. Um, oh, I was doing the shortcut. Now, it occurs to me, you know, I've been complaining about how dumb and useless this shortcut is this whole time, but that in and of itself is suspicious, because uh, if I don't know what a shortcut's used for, that might mean it's useful for something I don't know about yet. All right, shortcut complete, and this tablet says... The light of the god of death delivers death to all living things. Only those who hold the book of dead may escape his fate. So that's the clue. You asked me how I would know <laughs> uh, that the book of the dead helps you defeat Anubis. That's the clue to that. So that's all we're going to do here. The other thing I want to do is pop over to the graveyard of giants because I tried twice and just got turned around and didn't collect the, the map there. So we're going to do that. And then we're probably going to head back to the Inferno, the Reverse Inferno land, because um, we kind of bailed on that towards the end of the last session because I had four health. Okay. Yes. The previous room. This room? There's a floor right next to you that's different color. Is yes. there a reason for that? There's several of them around in this zone. I don't think it's significant here. Like if you see in the upper right, there's one. And if I just walk around a little bit, there's, there's others. Okay. I mean, I'll can't hit it with a dagger or from the side, so it doesn't Spear. seem like anything. Spear? 
Yeah. Well, I mean, the Earth Spirit packs down, but I guess it goes through the ground, so it doesn't really. Nothing. Never mind. All good. I want you to do that kind of stuff. <laughs> okay. So the the chest I failed to get to is this away, I think. Yes. And it's just the map. So now we have the map. Alright, so as I said, I'm gonna go back to I'm gonna go back to oh it's actually I get there from here. So I'm in the right place already. The reverse inferno land, finish up that area. Um Which is not a lot, I just wanna sort of tag the uh the save point there, which I haven't done yet, um, and I will uh, explore the last three or four rooms up there, but there's part of it we can't get to yet. We won't be able to get to until a bit Pause. later. Pause. Pause. Oh, go, go back. Oh, okay. Uh, on the far right, looks like a doorway. Have you gone through there? Uh, yes. In fact, um, there's a way to get over there, a, a room above us. Um, but it's also another area we can't access yet. We'll, we'll be going through there, possibly tonight, uh, okay. to the other side. It's sort of a clue that there's something over there without letting you get there, necessarily. So I sort of did the lower parts of this area, so we're going to just head left and do... The upper parts, the parts that we can access right now, which is not all of it again, but is some of it. Here we fought the bird and we went right and we did the moo clue thing, which we spent a lot of time talking offline about why that was a thing, but we didn't go left. So here's a tablet. Here's the first of the tablets that has both versions of the Lamuana script on it. So I need to find five of these and then my software will automatically translate it. So this says, oops, this says the goddess of the mountain changes her form into the goddess that loves blood and war. To assuage her anger, thou must get down on the ground and pray. So that's a clue about sort of a mini boss fight later that uh, culminates in what appears to be a trap and it's, it's, it's letting you know you need to place a weight to uh, get out of the trap. Uh, so this says something I can't translate yet. And I think that's the elder who's going to tell me about not translating things. Uh, I called the developers, it says it's me, I called the developers of Glyph Reader. In order to translate the older writing, you got to have the reader scan both a new bit of writing and an old bit of writing that say the same thing. It'll compare the two versions of the script software dictionary will learn. By reading it, but reading it once isn't enough. You'll need to have the reader scan at least four scriptures that say the same thing, both new and old text. So he just, just as usual, he explained what I just explained. Um, so that is probably going to be the map. I don't know if that's actually some place I can get yet. So I have to come at this area from the left there, which is actually connected to Eden. Uh, the ones that were created, Nuwa, ones that tried to imitate the powers of the Great Mother. The power to create life, the power that created us. Those wishes were not granted. So this is a little bit of lore. It talks about the race that uh, has the power to create life. Okay. Oops. <laughs> All right, we lost a little progress there, but that's okay. <laughs> don't get, don't get squished.
So if you see as I'm falling here, Chris, there is a passage to the right in that room. I don't maybe didn't call it out in time. You can't attack that boulder or something? I can attack the boulder, but I can't go right from here. Oh, okay. But as I said, I can get there from a different path. And this is what makes this a long play instead of a speedrun. Because I'm not a perfect player. Hey, it's here again. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna touch the save point first, because it's actually near. And we'll do that and we'll do the rest of what we just did. I mean, we'll do the convenient stuff on the way. get the uh, immune to ghosts item? Uh, no. We, we should have that. Save point should be just over here. That's the elder saying ba ba ba. Alright, this says... Okay, here's an important clue. This is big. The glowing red crucifix is a beacon that connects the scene and the unseen. And there's a picture of those crucifix items that I called out that I don't know how to interact with, but there is one of in every zone, and at a certain point in the game, they all start glowing red. So they seem very important, but that is a big mystery for Ian. Mystery, big mystery number three for Ian. The save point is up here. Tower of Ruin. And those fairies... Uh, I can't get to that upper area, that's why I just left. But those fairies, I think, are the mischievous spirit that means no harm that was called out in another clue. Uh, and they are part of the solution to making the uh, elixir of life. And up here is a shop. I can buy this software. Ooh, snapshots, that's a good one. So snapshots lets me flare ammo. Uh he might sell flare ammo where I don't see it again. Did I not just buy it? Fix saving, text memory. Oh, it's called Taru oh, okay. It's just not clear. So snapshots actually uh it adds a tab to my menu that lets me scan for hidden glyphs. Um, and there are a handful that are really, really critical to scan. Uh, this is flare ammo, yes, and this is grenade ammo. All right, you're low on flares, but that's really expensive. Yeah. I don't think I, I shouldn't have them equipped. That'll help. But I don't think I really need to flares for a while now. Whoops! Careful. Okay, I, well that's everything here. So, we're gonna go... Actually, we'll go you back... Haven't, you haven't read these tablets this playthrough yet. I can't read that this one. I can read it, but I can't translate it, so they don't get marked. Okay, sorry. I have read the other ones. Yeah. So we're going to complete the journey we made at the very end of the last session, which is after we destroyed the weird gargoyle statue and pushed the thingy down there. Um, there is a tablet here I didn't read. I don't think I can read it. Nope. That's, uh, the white diamond of purity. <laughs> I it for you. And uh, we came in here, and what I wasn't brave enough to do with four health is push this dais. 
I don't know if that's necessary to open the passage to the right. Okay, it is, so it's good that we did that. Um, but that completes that. I've never read this tablet, I may as well while I'm here. At the bottom of this land lies the darkness that leads to death. Uh, I think that's just a clue about the boss that's you know, could could now at this point fight. So I'll, I'll give you guys a choice. You guys want to take a shot at Eden again, or should we go after boss number five? Those are either of those things we can do next. I'm first going, before I do anything, I'm going to go to the surface and uh, heal up a little. Taking on another boss opens up more paths, right? It does. It will let us get into that uh, reverse, the hidden gate on the on the cliff face. Let's do it. Okay, we'll go fight a boss. This boss, unfortunately, we're in the uh, part where the bosses start to get kind of hard. And this boss is another one of those, like, well, there's kind of an easy way to fight it, but you just have to be really patient and it's a little dull. So I'm going to apologize in advance for some of that. Uh, so this boss is in the Inferno Cavern. And you probably don't remember, but at the very end of the last session, as we came through the gate from the reverse side to this area, there was like a secret dais in the background and we saw it lift off screen upwards. It actually lifted up to there. So I'm going to dive into that lava and sink down and press that. And that will open the way to the boss. I think I have, yeah, I have a jewel. So that opened a passage. Ah, I didn't fall for it. You tried. That opened a passage below us. That looks suspicious. I'm gonna whip over here. Nothing? Alright. I didn't expect it would be something I missed, but I'm always on the lookout for hidden money. Uh, and that is where the Ankh is. Now we can do this, and we'll be fighting boss number five, V. And v is this gross miasma at the bottom of the stage with a single eyeball, but he's going to start moving upwards, and we're going to have to sort of ascend ahead of him. And the reason this is uh, a slow fight is because I'm just going to wait for good RNG for him to do what he did just then, which is pop his eyeball out so that I can sort of whip it from nearby because that's how you do lots of damage to him quickly. And he doesn't always, half the time, he fires a laser upward. But if he fires a laser, it destroys the platforms, so you have to wait till there's a platform that's near him. And that's why it's a patience fight. So you want him not to fire the laser, or you want him to do a, a reveal his eyeball twice in a row. That's how we will get hits on him that are worthwhile. And not before, unfortunately. Is it true that if you touch him, you're instantly dead? No, you lose life extremely fast, though. Come on, give me an eyeball. use your shuriken when I can but the the lasers hit pretty hard so I like to have the shield Good. out and swapping up really quickly will be a pain yep if it gets really painful I might come on double eyeball 
This is great. Come on. Dang it. I wonder if you could run off the platform, do a mid-air whip on the first eyeball up, and use your double jump to escape back to the platform. Um, I haven't been really sure. Like, maybe is the answer. You are really... There's perfect. Here we go. So now he's going to start, I probably got him in the second phase, he's going to start shooting at an angle. Oh, maybe I didn't even get that yet. Uh, your jump arc is very committal. You have no, almost no air control. You have control if you hit something, or you have control when you initiate your double jump, but otherwise you're stuck with it. So, like, aerial maneuvers are quite challenging. <laughs> Gosh, see, that's what you don't want. Oh, I didn't do too badly. Oh. I feel like this guy was designed for the Earth Spear. <laughs> Whoops. That's not what I intended to do. I got a hit. Oh, now he's in his second phase. For sure. But he's going to start shooting angled shots. To actually make this quite a bit harder. Okay, but between rounds I want to actually switch sides. Oh, that's great. Nice. Good hits. Now you really only need like maybe one more good volley will do it. Gosh, I don't think I've ever seen him do three of those. This is the last annoying boss, I promise. The rest are actually quite intense. There we go. We got him. Did it in one. That's good, because losing to that guy is really annoying. <laughs> so from here we drop to a part of... The Chamber of Extinction, which is that area that has dark bits. But we can't really do anything here yet. I'm gonna just poke around, and there's like four rooms here that I can access, but there's not really much interesting going on. A little money I can collect. Um, and I can open that passage to the right there, which will 
be a little bit of a shortcut later. These guys drop um, <clears throat> flare ammo, so. Nice. Can't read this. Okay, so that we can backtrack to. There's a dude up here who says something. And this is an interesting situation because later on, the ledges in this room are going to go away, so I won't ever be able to talk to this guy again. But he doesn't say anything, like, super useful. He says, A mystery lies hidden within two murals. The small one will call it forth. The large one holds the mystery within. Face this challenge with a golden key in hand. So he's talking about... This is actually another boss area I'm in right now. He's talking about how to make the boss appear here. Uh, but that is the boss fight. So I think now we just... Uh, can't avoid doing eating again, so let's give that a shot. Uh, I am going to go to the surface and get some more weights, because you do need a lot of weights in there, and I only have seven. In fact, I think I need to open... Do I have the... I don't have the pair, so I need to open the chest to eat again, which will be at least four weights. So I'm actually going to buy ten. Big spender. Yeah. Now we will go to Temple of Moonlight. Where's the exits here? Well, the question is, do I remember the order of these from before? Well, I think I do, unless I do it backwards, which is a possibility. Bottom, yeah, you're out of it. I thought this is the order you did last time. You had to open it the other way. No, oh, it was right. Hey. Okay. okay. So I got the fruit of Eden again. Now we're going to go back into Eden, and we have a good amount of life. And the secret is, don't walk into the exploding chest. In fact, I wonder if I ought to also make a beeline for the save point in there. That might be a good plan. Yes. Getting to the save point first. Okay. We've seen all this. I will try to remember what we've seen and haven't seen. Shout if you feel like I'm not doing that correctly. I didn't pay attention this? to the face in the background before. So, something. Yeah, and I mentioned... I, I kind of was misleading accidentally before, but I mentioned that there are faces in this zone that are upside down, uh, and I called that out when I was talking about the door that was upside down. Uh, are you not going to read those? We I read them in the original stream? Do, do you want me to go through them again? Uh, I guess I don't remember them, but... Whatever. <laughs> Being a wise man or a fool and left or right, yeah. you gotta hesitate. Oh yeah, I remember that one. So you have to go down. So that's the weird upside down uh, door that I don't know that I can't get into, but I feel like I can't get into. Let's see, what does this say? Nothing. That's the exploding chest, so I'll be careful. I didn't get the the stairs to appear up. I thought I would Use be able to proceed scanner. here. Sorry? Use your hidden glyph scanner. Right here? When there are hidden glyphs, they're visible. So they look like something weird is written somewhere. Although, you know, 
I haven't solved the game, so maybe there's a situation where I'm wrong about that. Okay, so that opens the fake chest. But I'm not going to open the fake chest. Real chest is here. Oops, and I can't get back from here. Do I have to pass the chest? Hmm. Hmm. Touch it. Don't touch it. Okay. If I don't whip it, it's okay. You can set it off and not take damage, but I'm not. Since we haven't touched the save point, I'm not going to try that. Uh, but I do need to start warping around. So I'll go ahead and read things. Uh, the fool will never find his way, says that uh, tablet. Okay, that was not helpful. Where I need to do... I need to get back to where I started. That's easy. You just teleport out. Uh, I mean that would be a long trip. Oh, here's here's the here's a way. Here's where I wanted to be. So here's where we do the weird duck to go do the secret passage. And go through here. And here's what I forgot to do next this time. Oh crap! I screwed it up. Is <laughs> I delayed too long in describing what I was about to do. What I need to do there is um, walk to the right. I can actually walk through that wall without triggering the teleporter. Uh, but I gotta remember how to get back to... Oh, that was where I wanted to be. Ah, oh, no. Well, now I'm back at the beginning anyway. It's alright, there's money over here I can collect. And I do have now the spear, so I can collect it more safely. Oh, it's not breaking. Spear doesn't work on that. Shucks, I actually have to whip it. What about your knife? Knife does not reach. Well, I can't prove it to you. Here, I'll read this one here. Simply wandering will not lessen the illusion. Courage will grant thy wish. The courage to jump into the illusion. Whoops. <laughs> the courage to search unbended knee for a single fallen item. So that's the clue about picking up that uh, shuriken. Or kneeling where you would pick up the shuriken. Down here. Yes. Over here. Through here. Back the way I came, I think? Yes. Okay. Down here. Through here and to the right. Ta-da! Okay. That's what we were trying to do. So this water is buoyant. So I actually can't go down here. So that is a puzzle we need to solve soon. And here is a room with the two faces, one facing up and one facing down, which again, makes me think like I can turn this whole zone upside down or something like that. But I've never figured out yeah. how. You have your water helmet on, right? I do. Okay. So it looks like it's just flowing up. Could be. Uh, so this guy says, a favor to ask of the one who disturbs my slumber. There's something I need to do. I need you to do for me. If you don't want to, get out of my face. So anyway, the fairies hid the treasure I had fraudulently collected. What? What's wrong with fraud? I love fraud. It seems like the fairies made some sort of giant face swallow the treasures. And what better way to make one spit things up than pepper? So he gives you some pepper. Uh, how about it? You bring the treasure back to me and I'll pay 500 gold. A chew. Yikes, got pepper on my nose. If I can't get my beloved treasure back, I can't rest peacefully, and it's killing me. So go on and look for it. Don't come back until you find it. So this is actually a really easy puzzle. Um, the treasure is hidden in the very first face you encounter in the game, but I'm going to, since I'm at the surface anyway, top off on my uh, life and, and uh, weights.
Alright, so into the Gate of Guidance. But we're going to head back to the entrance of the La Mulana room. With this pepper, I'm gonna use it here. That guy's gonna cough up a treasure, and now we have treasure! Literally a treasure. Uh, put my hand scanner back on, and we're gonna go back into Eden. Uh, Did you figure that out by just brute forcing all the faces you saw? Uh, actually, when I solved it, it was the first one I tried. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. It was random. random. Like, I wasn't there was nothing super clever about what I did. What am I doing? I'm going to the temple. But I have used the pepper on many other faces. and Possibly not all of them. But uh, I never got any feedback, positive feedback from that. So if we get really stuck, we'll pepper all the faces. Um, I keep forgetting I can actually avoid that that one weight, and it's actually worthwhile to. All right. What's it say? I can't read it. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. So I should point out there's this little notch on the bottom of the tablets that are in advanced script. Okay. So if I'm walking by one that's in advanced script, it's because I I've been there before and can't read it yet. Mostly. You know, feel free to call me out. I, I'll screw it up, probably. I'll translate them for you tomorrow morning. <laughs> I already know what they say. It's for the benefit of our audience. I see. Uh, down here. Up here. Back here. Down here. Over here. All right, and we are back with the treasure. That door, have you been that door? Where's the door? Oh, yes, we will get in there eventually. Uh, so, the Elder said something. Whoops, ah, mother. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Practice it. Yeah. All right, items that are better use than not. Uh, it's me, some treasures ain't real helpful to you actually put them in use. You can select them to the item menu, just like you choose weapons. Go ahead and try it. Once you set up, press the item button to see what happens. There are even some treasures that don't activate until you hold them in your hand. Have fun trying different items out. That is a very useless tip. And you made me teleport back to the surface accidentally, so I'm grumpy at the elder right now. It's his revenge on you for interrupting <laughs> his gaming all the I time. I guess so. I guess so. I will remember not to use the extra weight this time. Hey, one less weight. Part of the reason I'm screwing up the teleport and stuff a lot is um, not immediately before but uh, a little bit before we started this stream i was actually playing la mulana 2 and it has different controls for that stuff so i'm getting them a little mixed up in my head all right success again ignore the elder So what do you think the odds are that this guy's going to give us 500 gold? Unlikely. <laughs> ah, my beloved treasures. Gross! It's covered in slimy spit. How dare you get my treasure all sticky. You don't deserve anything more than this piece of junk. And he gives you an anchor. Get out of my face! But the anchor lets us sink in the water. Jump up to here and win? No, I have to do it the way. 
The fool relies on only what his eyes do see. Shall wander the labyrinth for eternity. Well, I have the courage to jump into the illusion. So that's going to make that disappear, and I can go here and talk to this guy. And he says, Want to become small? Thou art small already. I shall bestow thee this mini doll. I got a mini doll. But this proved that thou art indeed small. Uh, and now I have to go back to... There's a lot of backtracking in this section. The Mausoleum of Giants. I come here to hold up the doll. To prove that I'm small. That's all we came here for. Well, hopefully that stairway will be revealed now. Maybe I actually have to do something else to do that. There is a section of that area, uh, that zone that I haven't been to yet. In the lower right. Did you say something, Chris? Nope. Specifically, the section above me here. So how do I get there? I need to get there by falling down. I think I need to go to where I was and then fall down. Let me verify that. Uh... That's not going to work. How do I get there? I need to teleport there from somewhere. Oh, I see. I know what I messed up. All right. These teleporters are very subtle. It took me a long... To the right, right here, there's a broken tablet that doesn't have the mark that you uh, advanced. Oh, it's okay. probably broken. It doesn't say anything anyway. Carry on. Uh, I should look at it, though. It'll, it'll disappear if it's uh, readable. This is the part I missed. I did all that, and I thought we were just getting the doll, but we actually needed to do a little bit more here. There's a hidden teleporter down there. Which is here. And that will take us to this area. Or warp. I'm going to put a weight on this guy. Because that's a fake deus. <laughs> drops you down. Uh, that's a warp. Do I want to go through that? I guess I'll read the tablet. I want to go above me. I hope that warp takes me there. But while I'm here, I don't want to miss the step. Okay, tablet says, extinguish the hole before the one may disappear. This will lead you further down the path of illusion. So this is a reference to the puzzle above me, which is where I have to place all the weights before the first weight lowers, and it lowers slowly, so it's easy to do. Does this take me there? Yes. Nice. I'm just going to do it. Done. Now we are down to two weights. We'll see how far that gets me, but I might have to bail and get some weights here. I know I have to spend one... Advanced two? Sorry? Was that an advanced one, too? Walk back on the tablet. Oh, did I? I'm not sure. Not nope. advanced because there's no mark. Welcome to Paradise of the Eternally Lost. In times past, this place was called Eden. Now it's an accursed site of war, where vengeful spirits are lost, wandering the paths of life. Those who enter Eden do not make light of this place. You guys are better at picking up the colors than I am. <laughs> We haven't seen it a hundred times before. It's true. That one. That one. It's the right. Yes. yes. Nothing. Uh, no, this is right. Because I think I'll have some stairs over here now. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I figured it out. I need to push 
this in order to find that letter. Now, interestingly, these three tablets, they all say the same thing. I don't know what the significance of that is. It says, to the living, it is not too late. Give up and turn back. The illusions will only continue. And it says it three times. Stand for hidden things is what I do. All right. No hidden characters. I'm trying to think of some connection to it's only applying to the living, so maybe you can get squashed or die on the screen and it opens something. And there's, there's an up, upright face at the bottom of that and an upside down face at the top. There sure are. Anything significant. Alright, how do I get right past that laser? Do I get right past that laser? There's a fairy mark on the brick to the right of that one. There is. I will be bringing a fairy to this zone. Whoops. Ah! Not long from now. There is a fairy there. Uh, there's software in here, and I can't even afford it, so help me remember that when I have 300 gold, I should come back here and buy that. I'm gonna hope. So what was the fairy mark on the wall? Uh, it just indicates that there are puzzles that you need the key fairy to solve in this area. Ah, oh, shucks, I got a weapon fairy. That's not the one I wanted. Oh, I got a, a key fairy. I got a key fairy. That's great because I need it in the next room. That was a crazy accidental key fairy. Any key marks. Get the weight before it disappears. Too, Too late. late. Come on, Key Fairy, do your thing. Do your thing. Bring it over here. Do your thing. It's in this room, isn't it? Uh, f the fairies unlock it. Oh, do I have to reveal it and then she opens it? That's probably the case. And I don't have the weapon that reveals it. That's a bummer. Um, so this thing over here... I can actually break only with the katana for some reason. I'm gonna try all my weapons on it real quick. Just to make sure. Because the katana hits, like, low? Or something like that, like low and forward? I don't really understand why I can only open that. But that's a wasted key fairy. We'll come back here later. Uh, in there is actually an extraordinarily useful item. Uh, it's armor. It will let me take half damage. I didn't say that aloud. Let me... I commend thee for reaching this place, wise one. Now free thyself of doubt and illusion. So these look like blocks you whip, but that's the wrong solution to the puzzle. Um, you actually just need to... What changed? Got a ladder here? I thought that was going to open the laser. So I can push this right. What happened? Is it a fake laser? Oh, I've got so low life, I don't want to try that. Doubt and illusion. Doubt and illusion. Save points first, then doubt Well, illusion. the save point is on the other side of that laser. <laughs> the save point is... Aha! This, this passage opened. That's great. Alright. Now we have the save point. So I'm actually going to return to the surface immediately, because I have no weights and no life. So we'll top off. Hmm. 
and then we can do the rest of that area. But also remind me to go back there when I have the katana and bring a key fairy. I only gained seven gold. I just spent the 300 gold thing. <laughs> you mostly get gold early. So there's two mechanisms I can use to get gold. Um, the first time you break up any one pot, you get a better reward than normal. So a lot of gold you get just from breaking pots for the first time. The other thing is um, there's a type of fairy. I think it's called a treasure fairy. Uh, which is not the fairy we just had, it's a different one, but having that fairy causes better drops across the board, so you can really rack up money quickly using that fairy. All right, it says, be a little man, only the small shall proceed. So that's why we did that dwarf stuff. Or small doll or whatever it was. A mini doll? Okay, so this is Chi Yu. This is the demon that we've been reading about on some tablets. Okay, this says, Those who do not listen do not make light of the words of others. To come so far, blinded by pride at thine own powers, thou art a true fool. A fool deserves not by death. So he is a master of all weapons, but you'll notice he's also regenerating life. And while he's doing that, I can't kill him. And he's regenerating life from the blood that's dripping on him from the spirits leaping to their death in those spikes above me. So I actually have to close the passages letting them do that before I can fight him. Uh, which is not very hard to do. So I want to actually... I don't think there's anything interesting here, but the pot. pot didn't do anything. And there's nothing here, so climb the ladder to the right. Okay, so there's... whoops. I thought I for sure I was going to fall into the spikes there. Unlike the key to the corridor that runs endlessly. So this is a clue to what we'll get when we complete this zone. Uh, that says nothing. This is the reverse gate to the first zone. So now that it's unlocked, I can come back here and actually get that treasure chest finally. So nothing. Is it a fake skeleton or a real skeleton? Okay, this skeleton says, I made it this far despite being dead. I deserve a pat on the back. So these stairs will show up now. And we can get from the first zone to the reverse of the first zone. Easily. Not that we'll ever need to, because you can just teleport there. Now I can get this chest, and this has software, the second map software. So I can combine these. I can turn them both on at once. Um, and you notice when you have a, a software combo that does a special effect, when you turn it on, there's a little flash of both the softwares that are, or, or there may be more than two, but all of the software involved in the combo. So now that I have both street maps equipped, my maps are really detailed, so they have like icons on them showing me where exits are, where shops are. The red room with the blue dot in it is the crucifix that I don't know how to interact with. So the fact that those show up on my map, again, leads me to believe they're extremely important, and I don't know what to do with them. Um, I'm not actually going to climb up the ladder here because that will connect me uh, to the lower zones that I've always been to, already been to in a way that I can't get back from. Let's see where do I go from here. Let me go over here. That's right. And I think I can't read this, that is true. So this will make it 
that staircase appear, and I can close that passage, which will then prevent the spirits from... I mean, it doesn't look like it does, but it prevents the spirits from bleeding onto Chiyu. Uh, he reads this stone tablet, Thou art thou a wise man or a fool, this hope thou possesses wisdom of a wise man. I'm going to pop through this door here. This leads to the reverse Inferno land, um, where I can quickly solve a puzzle here. Oops, I almost got squished by that. I have to be careful. I don't think this is reverse. Do you think this is the front side? No, nope, never mind, you're right. This is reverse. And this just got us a map. So now I can go fight Chi Yu. He's not over here. I went the wrong way. Are you asking why I wasn't punished divinely for whipping that thing? Because the My answer point, is, yes. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> um, I, that was probably, I accidentally worked out that, that hitting that is okay, but hitting some of the other stuff in that area is not. Maybe it's because it was after you already solved the puzzle to reveal it? I don't know. So Chi Yu is a little bit of a pain in the neck because he has all of the sub-weapons, and he can block a lot. So, it's just going to be a little bit of, like, trial and error to try to hit him in the head when he's not blocking. Open his chest and leave. Oh yeah, is this a Caltrap guy? I can only hit him in the head. Oh. I don't know if there's any trick to this. I just kind of do this until it works. I kind of another tenth of a second. I think you need to, for him to start another decision. Uh, I'm going to teleport out. I mean, I guess a loss here isn't that bad. Maybe I should go for it, because we just respawned at the spawn point. Are you even close to beating him? No Did idea. One shot away from killing you. <laughs> okay, two shots. Shurikens really are weak. <laughs> <laughs> Take two. Oh, that's not working. Huh. Oops. Well, this one's going much worse than last time. Well, don't worry. All his weapons suck. Yeah, but if you just smash your head into him repeatedly like, like I'm doing, that'll get you just the same. It seems like you can stand behind his shield and you can flare gun him. Oh, maybe. Uh, no, I can't. It just seems that way because I've been damage boosting. Alright, take three. Successful hits are when he's doing something else, but... It's yeah. clearly not a matter of timing to wait for him to start doing something else. So it's kind of kind of random. Yeah. I got V and one. I'm having trouble with Chiyu. That's funny.
Like, you're right, like, I, I need to delay a little bit. That is definitely some of it, but it's also sort of like, if I'm not ready to capitalize on the hit, I can't land it either. So it's just kind of like a little dance. Ladders in the top right are for after you beat it, right? Yeah. So otherwise you come over here and use the Earth Spear on him. That's true. I don't think I can walk past him. I don't think this is the one. Take four? Usually I have much less trouble with it. I wonder if I'm short a life extension or something. I could maybe I should be doing this. Hmm. Stick to what I know. What if you attack low before you jump? Oh man. That's the secret. Maybe it's not. Yeah, that's the secret. Hang on. And get him to block a low and then hit high. And once you block slow, you can hit high with the shuriken because apparently you can't get in close enough. Whoops. <laughs> but yes, that's a good, brilliant strategy, Chris. This I have learned something about La Mulana tonight. I think that's going to work if I do it less badly. I wonder if... Let's see if I can do something like this. Ah, uh, he doesn't care about that. Doesn't even react. Looks like if I can get him to block, I might be able to hit him multiple times. Really good. is getting out afterward. Seems like he follows it with an advance. Well, that's okay. I will win the War of Attrition if I get the two hits, I think. There we go. So I'm going to not stand under this thing because it's going to fall in a moment. to get the key of eternity so now uh, I don't think there's any reason to come up here oh this is interesting there's a hidden door here and in this door is a scream and nothing else I don't know if that's flavor or significant but it's uh, a peculiarity all right well that was what about I can't do that in a location, like in a door. Can't scan for hidden things there either? I don't think so. I mean, I'm here, so I, I'll give it a shot, but I'm pretty sure while I'm in the interior, I can't do any of that kind of stuff. So now we have two options. We can go to the door that is on the cliff face, or, yeah, my, my, my menus don't work here. Or we can go into the uh, Eternal Corridor and finish that up. I recommend the Eternal Corridor. Okay. To 
our usual top off. Endless corner, that's what it's called. All right, this is where we first met the Fairy Queen. And we brought her the Isis Pendant and got access to the fairies. But there's actually quite a bit more to it than what we've seen. And now that we have the Key of Eternity, we can go to the latter parts. Let us. Oh, how good is accounting, Chris? We have a counting puzzle. Men are born of the mother and live their lives. They reproduce and reproduce. I don't know why those are different colors. That's interesting. Helping the mother's ascension go forth along the path that man is destined to walk. Um, that's just calling out the fact that... I, I haven't talked to Mulbrick in a while. Mulbrick will say probably around now that the numbers mean words, and the words that they're describing are sort of those concepts that um, that were just uh, laid out on the tablet. So basically what I need to do in this area is I need to walk past the numbers in order. Okay. Well, there are two zeros, if that matters. Uh, I don't know if it does, and I don't know when I have to do them. So let's just do it in order. This is one, right? I, know, I remember a few of them. I can pull up my notes if you don't know it as well. That's fine. Zero, zero to your top left, one's above you, and five is to your left. Okay, I'm going to do one to start. That is not two. That's four, and the bottom is six. I now have a key sword. I don't know the significance of this, but it's a weak weapon. I, seems like it should be used to solve a puzzle, but I haven't solved a puzzle with it necessarily. There's, there's a two. The very key. Two and three. Okay, so this is two for sure. This, the one below is three. Okay, we'll do three next. And you four said four was, was left. A while ago. Yeah. A while ago? That's uh, not four. That one. That, that one's four? One, that one's four. Yeah. And five is farther left. That's six below you. That's five? Yes. That's five. You have to be able to get out of here, are you? There's eight. Seven is top right. Eight is above you. And Sorry. nine is to your left. So I need your top right first, which means I need to loop to the left. Thanks for doing that. Save me checking my notes. So seven is top. This is seven. All right. Yeah. And, and that's eight. Eight is percent sign. This is eight. And nine is down one to your left, I believe. Let's see if I haven't broken this yet. All right, we did it. So now we can proceed downward. Did I miss anything in this area? I'm going to give you a quick once over. I bet I didn't get the pot that was directly above me there. So wait, I'll take a wait. That symbol on the ceiling looks interesting. That is the symbol of the philosophers, meaning it indicates that I can't get up there until I've met the philosophers. I think that's everything. Missed reading a tablet. Did I? 
I didn't see one. Very top, Shannon says. I think I've that read that tablet coming in. You already read that one. Right now. I'll double check. Yep. yep. That was the clue to this puzzle. Okay, uh, I needed to approach the other way. Let's see if I can get over there. I think I can't. Oh, I can't. Okay. All right. I'm going to solve this puzzle quickly, and then I'll explain what the puzzle was. So this zone is kind of like... Um, I already read the tablet first. Run through with all thy might, rely on thy wisdom to find a way that chooses thy own path, now place the weight. So there's two weights you have to hit. You have to hit this one, and it's trying to trick you into running really, really far to the left to hit the other weight. But uh, you can just go through to the right here, which makes this a lot easier. Where is the other weight? Oh, maybe I need to use the key in time. Maybe that's what it's doing. Yep. <laughs> so you can't quite make it if you actually run the correct way, or the, the, the easy, visible way. Oops, I just jumped in some spikes for no reason. That's cool. I'm just trying to jump up and get this chest has the twin statue, which now means we can link up the Labyrinth of the Twins. Hey everybody, just dropping by, so now that one guy is showing up in your video again randomly. Hello! Welcome, welcome. Here's another one of those crucifixes. Uh, this says, to the one who toils for naught, thou art foolish, thou art foolish, thou art foolish, thou art foolish. Four of those. I think this is just indicating that, hey, if you're actually trying to run through this puzzle, you're doing it wrong. There's a path through the wall up here. Then will let me get over this way. Oops. And I have the keyblade, so my quick item switching is going to be worse. Um, I believe there's a hidden tablet. Yeah, here. That says, one saw the colorless map, one saw the colorful map. Together they see the truth. That's a clue to use the both pieces of map software together to get the, uh, the, the the full picture as I currently have. But I will read this tablet, which is probably nothing. It is nothing. I will break that pot above me because I haven't yet. And I'm going to try to grab a health fairy because the next part is actually quite difficult. So let's see if I can make that happen. Got it in one. So here we do some uh, dodgy platforming. Endure the endless trials. So. She'll pass. Something like that. No. This section is pretty rude. Shucks. Yep, it is What's a little. There's a. I have to ride the platform there because there's teleporters all along the bottom. But I got hit by the bat off of the platform, so. Is that, to be honest, this is actually going quite smoothly. But now I'm out of fairy, so any hits I take from here on are real hits. Yeah. And then here there are platforms that try to poke you into the spikes, because that's fun. But now we're done. 
Yeah, that that did really go smoothly. Whoops. <laughs> and then the fourth floor of the endless corridor is an annoying boss. Pair, honestly, it's a boss pair. So I'm going to not read that tablet because that starts the boss fight, I think, if I remember correctly. Uh, instead, I'm going to clear some stuff out of this zone first and get my bearings. Because the boss fight occurs throughout this zone. So the enemies here are kind of interesting. I mean, I'm sure you've noticed the shitting llamas, which is kind of odd. Um, the horses, uh, when you spawn on a screen, they are one of three sizes. And you can only damage one of the sizes. I think I'm ready to go. Can't damage the little horses. I think you can damage the big horses. You might be able to not damage the medium horses either. Boy, I wish I had more life. They look like ghosts, and I'm disappointed that you don't have ghost immunity to them. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. So I'm going to read this tablet. This tablet says, The one-eyed and hundred-eyed shall appear. Return with the one-eyed, and the hundred-eyed shall lose its strength. Beyond that lies everything. So that's going to make this thing appear, and this is like a boo. So whenever I'm looking at it, it doesn't move, and whenever I'm not looking at it, it chases after me. But I need to pull it over to the uh, other half. Oh, actually, I should have broke this. It would have saved me some time. I need to pull it over to the other side of this level, including doing these slightly tricky jumps here. Um, and that will make that dais appear there. I can then press, and then I need to backtrack. Let's see where this guy wound up. Not bad. Oops. That's okay. Big horse. Oh, slow big horse. No. And now there's another dais here, and once I've hit that, this guy's vulnerable. So now I just gotta, and this is kind of also an annoying bit, I gotta kinda do this kind of crap and lead him so that I can get some hits in. Now drop! Uh, and I have so very little life. Hmm. Should I bail? I don't know if I have to fight him again. I'm going to bail because my life is so low. But uh, killing him should make the other guy vulnerable. Thankfully, we don't have to solve any of those puzzles again, so it's kind of easier to get back down there. You have 300 gold. I do. Let's go buy that software. Thanks for the reminder. That software was in the Gate of Illusion. That's another Naguro piece of software. Um, okay, back to Endless Corridor. Uh, the other way was 
shorter. I forgot. I forgot. Well, spend 15 seconds thinking about what you did wrong. <laughs> okay. I okay, went, now I, you can stop. I went right instead of left. No, that's uh, that might be a key fairy again. What the heck? Um, where can I get it? Not anywhere. Dang it. Key fairies are very rare, so the fact that I rolled two back to back is is silly. Um, there are places that only the key fairy can let you access. Treasures and stuff like extra, like not critical path stuff. I I've encountered so far, but who knows. And uh, unfortunately, like, a a thing I would probably need to do to be certain that that there isn't any critical path stuff or, like, some treasure I missed is to bring a key fairy, like, everywhere. Oh, I have to do this again? I have to do it again? Uh, I wish I had the health fairy. It wasn't too hard, really. It, it isn't. It's just annoying. Depends on my horse RNG, right? Oops. Opening this passage helps a lot. Oh. Oops, that was an interesting double jump. I did backwards. Man. Stop getting hit again. Okay. Oops. Oops. It seems like monster for Caltrops. They don't do damage, though. What do you mean they don't do damage? I mean, they do points. They do They do a single point of damage to me. When you get a Caltrop in your eye, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're gonna roll the dice here, so... Ah. Oh, no. Fourteen life to beat this guy. Could happen. Can't rule it out. Ten life to beat this guy. Six life to beat this guy. Etc. Etc. Well, thank goodness for speed attack chain whip. Ah, so close. All right. Well, I'll be able to get the uh, health fairy this time, and that'll help. Well, I, I will purposely get the health fairy. Don't forget to go left. Thank you. That will save a little time as well.
Donald Duck. Did you say Donald Duck? Yeah, that's what that monster looks like to me. It's a, what do you call I it? You see it. Yeah, it's a hopping ghost. But, yeah. Uh, I do see that it's got the the Donald Duck blue shirt and white head with a yellow beak in front. Ah. Uh. Oh no. Oh no. Your fairy went away. Oh, that's okay. Starting from full health at this point is better than he was before. And just the. He's already down to 190. We're judging you, Ian. Uh, that's alright. That's. I mean, that's. Isn't that the point of streaming? Like, I'm putting myself out here to be judged. That's a very nice double jump. Thank you. I judge you adequate. <laughs> Come here. This will be a good. I got lots of time. He's nice lined up here. Much better. Much better. So far. Yeah, sorry for jinxing it. <laughs> Grr. You know, I was talking about the horses. I don't think I mentioned that they don't have heads. That's a pretty distinguishing feature. Oh, yeah, we had the horses. They shoot some more laser beam at you. I assume they're trying to steal your head. Probably. Regular horse will do that if you let them. Okay. So this part is complete. So we're actually going to go down here. And Level down nine. here is the Shrine of the Mother. This is the last area. And we could have gone in here from a different angle before, and I just opted not to. Um, but now we're going to explore in here a little bit. It says, only the Chosen may proceed. And this area sucks. There's lots of spikes and death and awful things. And moving platforms that just lower you into spikes and you know, all kinds of fun stuff. What is level 9? What is level 9? Oh, it is level 9. Oh, sure. So, I mean... By this point, you should be okay with it. Endlessness and dimensions. Tiamat distorts the two laws with her strong powers. So that's sort of a clue that Tiamat exists in an extra-dimensional area, and she also makes it so that um, in the area she's in, there's a bunch of bosses. I think there's 13 of them. And they can't die unless you find a way to break her power. expect to land on that platform. I don't think I can get through here yet. No, I cannot. Oh, you, you asked me a question about that last time. So I, it's not number of runes. It's actually specific runes. So we have three runes, and those runes are Origin, which is one, Birth, which is two, and Life, which is three, right? Yeah. And the yeah. other one that you just now passed was four, and you don't have that Correct. That one's also cool. Don't forget to read your tablet. Thank you. Oh, I can't get there. <laughs> These are walls, so that's why I didn't oh, okay. read it. Uh, oh, here's an interesting thing. So, this thing in the background... This is a picture of Tiamat. Uh, there are wedges 
with pictures of each of the bosses on them in this zone. Um, and there is a clue that says that we should strike the wedges, but I don't know what that clue means either. Here is a chest that I can only open by throwing shuriken at it. Why? I don't know. Also, that monster was upside down. I see a pot I want. I have a lot of life, but I'm close to restoring my life, so... Let's hope that pays off at a clutch time. How do I get over there? I gotta go to the very bottom, which I can't reach from here yet. Okay. Mother holds the power of life. This power shows itself when the soul is shattered. This is the secret treasure of life. And there's a little picture there. So I think this is a clue indicating that I will need to use the elixir of life uh, in conjunction with some other stuff to face the mother. I recognize that boss yard. Yeah, we've beaten that one. Fairy location here. Whoops. No, oh, that wasn't divine punishment. That was just an enemy. I'm gonna ignore the pot because we're low on life. Hey! Rude. Oh man. Stop getting hit, Ian. Uh, you have to kill that guy. He can hit you perfectly. Whew. Uh, I am gonna get the fairy. Hopefully, I get a life fairy. That would be clutch. I did get a life fairy. Okay. And I will get the pot. Pot was nothing. So, later on, some stuff's going to change here, and I need to come to this room in particular. You'll see... Oh, I don't have the map yet. But uh, it is the location where I need to place uh, a skull. But here's the save point for the zone. Behold the Shrine of the Mother. This is where the Mother sleeps. And this is Beelzebub, and I will fight him later, and he just kind of chills for now. I think this is going to collapse. Yep. And this is where I could have come into the zone before. I'll come here and read this. Okay, sleep within the woman is a clue to how to solve a puzzle within the, the temple of the woman, or the pyramid of the woman. And something I can't read yet. So this connects to, just to show sort of what's going on here. I did miss the tablet in there. We'll come back to it. But this connects to the Chamber of Extinction, which we were in earlier. Uh, but now, that sort of completed our run through the uh, Eternal Corridor. Or what do you call it? Yeah, Eternal Corridor. And we still have two options. We can now go link up. Actually, we'll do the link up first. And we can choose then to go into the, sh the Labyrinth of the Twins. Um, which maybe is a good next move because I can get the... Uh, I can get the Katana in there. Uh, while I'm here, I'll talk to my friend. But we'll link up the Labyrinth of the Twins and explore in there a little bit. Um, so Mulbrick says, the Holy Grail you have, uh, She said this already. Apparently, the Holy Grail is the only way to receive the powers of the Great Mother. Hmm. She's repeating herself. That's interesting. Well, anyway, we're going to... Um, long ago, when we beat the... Well, it wasn't long ago. It was just last week. But when we beat the second boss, uh, the third boss, rather, I fell into a zone that had poison gas in it. 
Um, and now I can solve that puzzle. I can make the poison gas go away if I'm fast enough. So I'm going to run in here. Um, and the statue of the twins lets me go through these, which connect various parts of this area. Uh, so I'm going to go up here real quick and hit that dais if I don't blow it. And try to get back to the other side and hit another dais in time to not suffocate. Good luck me. Where's the dais? Oh, it's so far. And now the gas is gone. And the Labyrinth of the Twins is linked up. So in the first session, we peeked in here and I said, it's where we got the helmet. And I said, this, this zone is sort of connected in a weird way. Um, and it was, you could traverse the outer walls of it, but the exits were sort of randomly linked to each other. They didn't, weren't linked in a way that makes sense. But now that we solved that puzzle, the whole, whole zone is linked up. So we can explore uh, all parts of it. So let's see what the Elder has to say. He says, it's me. Apparently the twins cast a curse on the twin labyrinths. The curse from ancient legend. Is there a stone tablet somewhere that mentioned this? Find it and the poisonous fog should lift. That's right. The purple fog is poisonous. Legend of the twins. So we already kind of solved that puzzle. Uh, but now we're, this zone is free to explore. So I'm going to do some exploring. Uh, there is a save point near. I can't remember if it's left or right. Oh good, life refill. Right, this says nothing. Interestingly, um, the Labyrinth of the Twins has a front and back, but they are connected, so it's like a double-sized zone. Uh, here's another one of those crucifixes I don't know what to do with. Front and back is the missing word there. Where there's a front, there must be a back. That might be cluing you in that what I just said. That uh, there is a back to this zone, even though it does not seem like there is. There's the same point. Black onyx means eloquence. Purple amethyst indicates sincerity. The meanings are infused in gemstones. So this is, you translated a clue similar to this, Chris. This is... So there's this really, really complicated puzzle to get the best whip in the game, what I think is the best whip in the game. Um, and it involves you identifying what gemstones are associated with what sort of characteristics, and then those characteristics are associated with uh, weights. Um, but we don't need to bother to solve all that because the clue that tells you the weights uh, has the gemstones in order. So we just do them based on the order on that clue. Uh, behold the twin labyrinths. The soul of the twins dwell here. Not that it's really important, but later I'll have my letter Q. Because eloquence <laughs> has a Q in it. There you go. Is that the only letter you were missing? Yep. Nice. Oh, so much money. New zones are great. Here's an exit into the Shrine of the Mother. That's interesting. Let's pop up here. I think we can get a map. I don't think I can read this yet. Nope. That's going to be an important one. Everybody remember this room. That's a really important clue. Yeah, now I have the map of the Zone of the Mother, which looks like a skull. Isn't that cute? That art. I will in a moment. Okay. It's a statue of the twins. And it tells you a little bit about their history. I'll read this. It says nothing. Uh, a statue of the hero and twins. It portrays the winged hero rescuing twins with a snake body. It says nothing. Oh, 
Nice shot. Okay, so I need a skull to proceed here, which I don't have yet. This says the right hatch is sculled and the left hatch is verdandy. That is a clue to how to open the sluice gates to feed the water to the tower. Uh, this guy says the demon altar is where the witches gather to summon a demon. The demon altar is a safe place, is a place for prayer. Two witches, black and white, call for Baphomet. So this is a clue. Baphomet is the boss of this zone. This is a clue that I have to summon a black witch and a white witch to two particular areas in this uh, location. I don't think I can get down here. Uh, and once I do, I have to actually leave them there, and then I can access Baphomet. Like, I actually... I, I, you beat up some witches, and then those particular witches show up, and then you don't beat up those witches, and then Baphomet shows up. Uh, I can't get out of here either, or maybe I can. Aha, I can. Well, this is going to be a one-way trip, but I think that's okay. The priests lived in the ruins, watching over all. The four priests turned their bodies to stone, becoming philosophers. They obtained eternal life. It's referencing the four philosophers who are turned to stone until I play the Okari. Right, we're going to take a one-way trip here. Um, well, actually, I can get back up that ladder, so that was not such a bad trip. So again, those the white passages, lead, they're like teleporters within the zone. Um, and I know where they all lead, so I'm going to be taking only the ones that are useful to me. So this says, the Ankh is always in the front. When thou finds the right spot, think carefully on where the spot is. It's indicating that um, when there are a front and a back zone to a, or part to a zone, the Ankh is always in the front part. Right below me, actually right where I am now, is where I get the katana, but I need to be below me to, in order to get it. So it's the Dance of Life and it shows swing your sword left three times, swing your sword right three times, and then jump. We're going to use that to do some shenanigans later. Okay, so this area might look familiar. This is a place we were... This is part of the, the zones that were linked up weirdly. Very near the beginning of the game. So we are on the rightmost outer wall, but now they're linked up uh, appropriately, so they will, we will experience them in the order they actually are. Uh, there's a tablet I haven't read, which means I had not linked this up yet. In the first age of the sun, we were destroyed by flood. In the second age of the sun, the fourth child was destroyed by the god of wind. In the third age of the sun, the fifth child was destroyed by the god of fire. In the fourth age of the sun, the sixth child was destroyed by a rain of blood and fire. The seventh child disappeared from the era of their own accord. Thus you arrived at the fifth age of the sun. Ye the eighth child shall be destroyed in 2015. This game is a little old. It hasn't destroyed me yet. Um, I think that's just lore that also mirrors the uh, a puzzle we saw very near the beginning of the game uh, and talks about the ages of destruction. Oops, I didn't want to jump over here. I wanted to kill these guys and fall very far down and land on that platform, which I just missed to dislodge it because it's a moving platform, but it's stuck. And I will just, so to keep, give everybody their bearings, I'm going to pop down here, and this is the Pyramid of the Moonlight. This is an area we saw earlier, connects to the Labyrinth of the Twins. I don't remember how I worked out this puzzle, but um, you have to hit the back of the twin statues down here with the flare gun. And they do things at the top of the zone. Near other twin statues. I 
This says, the Big Brother Shop is for more exclusive clientele. The Little Brother Shop are for regular. So I mentioned that clue before. And that's how we get the bone, actually. I think it's the bone is um, we visit the Little Brother's shop uh, several times and he will get us an invite to the Big Brother's shop. So we're gonna fight a boss here that if I do it right, it's not going to look difficult, but it is actually quite difficult. He makes little blue clony guys and flies around but you can only make a certain number, so you ignore the cloning guys, and you stay up here, and you smack him, and just kind of move back and forth a little bit. And hope you don't get hit too much. Yeah, stop making cloning guys. Enough. But they can, the cloning guys climb, so you gotta be mindful when they come close. And he follows a nice sine wave, although it starts at a random position, so. Whoop, whoop, whoop. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's not how things work. <laughs> he has broken through the illusion and obtained true wisdom. Ah, dang it. Rather hit a cloning guy than him. He hits really hard. I killed the cheater. You kill what? There's a cheater blue guy. He's he's a uh, breaking the rules. <laughs> Marching to the beat of his own drum. Oh no! Three, three. Badly injured, but I'm going to proceed because here is where oh, I can't do it here. I gotta go to the other side. Okay, I'll take this teleporter here, and that will reveal. this that will raise this platform which will let me get the katana. Okay, now I'm going to return to the surface and then we'll come back and get the katana. And I'll buy some weights. How's our time? We got another 30 minutes. We're making pretty good progress tonight. So I think we got a good shot at finishing this, at least the parts that I'm familiar with by next next end of next session. We'll see. I don't know. I may be underestimated. There's there's some pretty complex puzzles yet. Back to, back to the front side of the Twin Lights. I might actually have to go left to get where I want to go. No, this will work. I think this will work. The katana hits really hard, but it's a little slower than the chain whip, so I mostly just stick to the chain whip. Um, but now that we have that, let's go ahead and get the armor, because that'll make a lot of things simpler. Uh, which we do 
do. I'm going to open the area first, and then we'll try to get a key fairy. And it's going to be really annoying, because they're extremely rare. And I've already rolled two tonight, so... By the gambler's fallacy, uh, I will not roll more. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna open that uh, wall up just to make sure I remember how to do this correctly before bothering to get the fairy. Katana. Oh no, that's not. Ah, okay. I remember. All right, no, that's right. We're doing it right. So I'm actually going to get the key fairy in the Spring in the Sky. That's one of the easier places to get fairies. Um, and this is going to be annoying, and I'm sorry. I don't know uh, another way to do it until we get Miracle Witch. And even when we get Miracle Witch, that's piece of software. Um, I don't know the right combinations to get the appropriate fairy. We could work them out once we get the software. But for now, I'm just going to roll the fairy over and over until it's the key fairy. And what I'm looking for is... The, uh, I don't think that was it, but we'll, I'll get a second opinion in a moment. The health fairy is a circle. It makes a star, the stars fly in in a circle. The weapon fairy makes the star fly, stars fly in in a diamond. That is definitely a weapon fairy. The luck fairy has the weapons, has the stars fly in in a circle and a diamond. And the key fairy, which is the one we're looking for, has the, the stars fly in and a diamond quickly. So that's like a luck fairy. Now, I may have actually rolled a key fairy once because the first two diamonds look pretty fast to me. But it's kind of a judgment call. Health. Weapon. Health. 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 I think we're going to have to see the difference between weapon and key. That might somehow. be key. It is. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to take it back to Gain Illusion. It's it's subtle, and I get it wrong sometimes, so it's it's a tricky thing. But she's actually going to stick her key in that treasure chest I just revealed. And uh, that'll get me the armor. Nice free weights. Do the thing. Do it. You aren't doing it. Alright, now I'm concerned. I thought that's what I was supposed to do here. You're going to katana the fairy symbol in the middle. It doesn't do anything. I, I am confused. I really thought this was where... There are definitely fairy symbol blocks. What I... other interactions do we know? And I'll put a weight in the chest, so... Maybe. Maybe. Sam in the chest? Oops. There is another fairy symbol in this zone. I, I don't think that was it, though. Let's see if I can get her there before she runs out. Probably not. Hmm. Unfortunate that I misremember how to solve a puzzle. Another fairy symbol was here. She doesn't seem interested in that either. What if we approach from the other side? Ah, I see. Oh gosh, I'm not gonna do this quickly enough. Uh, stay here, stay here, stay here. Stay, stay, stay. Stay. Keep staying. Stay. There we go. No! <laughs> oh, 
Man! Oh well, I knew that was going to be an issue. Uh, okay, so fairies don't respawn for a little bit, so let's just go do some other stuff, I guess. Uh, I'm going to pop up to the surface and recover my health, and I guess we'll go back into the Twin Labyrinths. Do a little bit more of that. Hey, while you're on the surface, why don't you go to door number five? We can do that, too. I do feel like I'm short a health extension at this point. That's interesting. Maybe it's in the Twin Labyrinth and I just haven't explored around very much. Might, I'm not going to change course at this point, but it might be faster to get there from the Spring in the Sky. Secret door number five. Hope you have enough flares. I ain't gonna need them. I am now in the Tower of the Goddess. I think there might be some money here. Check. Oh. None shall trespass in this forbidden land. The place hidden further ahead holds many mysteries. Fly with the golden wings. So that's a clue that I need. Um, shucks. Oh, that wasn't too bad. You do tend to fall straight down in this tower a long ways. Um, that was a clue, rather. Let me finish that thought. That was a clue that I need a golden airplane statue to get past a certain point in this area. Hitting any of the goddess statues will yield divine punishment. This is definitely not, no. The Magatama Jewel is the key to the enchanted mantra. Uh, that's interesting because we're trying to assemble the mantra. And the Magatama Jewel is a red jewel that lets us open certain treasure chests that we won't get for a long time. There is a chest hidden over here. But I think I need to hit a switch that's above me to open it. Here? Yeah. There's another one of those crucifixes. And it's just the map. So here's an interesting aside. That room in the upper right, I do not know how to get there. However, we're not going to do it tonight, probably. Uh, I'm going to redirect some water into this tower. And when I do, that area will get flooded. So it might be a room I can only enter before that. So this is secret number four that Ian doesn't know about, is that door there. Uh, the lake created by Miguel and Futo. Ribu carries the water to the tower, the place where the finger points, and Anunnaki refuses to gaze upon. So this is a clue to where the sluices are, and it's referring to the giants who uh, powered the tower with water, which we've been hearing a lot about, like in the history of giants, for example. But yeah, like there's, there doesn't seem to be a way to get in here, and I've tried all kinds of crazy stuff, like approaching from strange angles, and I've never solved it. Uh, by the way, the Tower of the Goddess has lots of exits. A lot of the places where I said 
Oh, we're going to approach this zone from a... So, teleport out here. We're going to approach this zone from a, a different direction. They're almost all connected from here. Alright, I'm actually going to break this with some shurikens. Can you say shurikens? Or is it is the plural of shuriken shuriken? So Chris, you'll be excited to know this is our first map scan text. So you can see it kind of looks like text. Uh, I was going to say, a lone snake stands among spikes. It's the snake that protects the enchanted words. It protects the enchanted words hidden by the giants. Uh, so this is referring to a location where another interesting little feature is that I don't know how to interact with, but I will call it out. But this feels like a very important clue, so remember that one. It might be the clue to the last piece of the mantra that, that I haven't been able to identify. And how did you know to stand here? Uh, I'll show you in a second. So the hesitation in thy heart is an unseen wound. Shine up upon it with the eye of truth. Those climbing the tower will never turn back. Bao Aku attacks the hesitant. So this is indicating that uh, once I get the eye of truth, I'll be able to see these invisible creatures called Bao Aku or whatever. Um, if you look in the lower left there, do you, beneath the statue of the goddess, where I broke that air, the, the wall, you'll see it looks like there's some characters written there. So that's the type of thing that indicates that we would scan and get some information. I think if, if I jump over there, let's see if I can do that, it says, hey, there's some, some carvings here. Whoops, and I just got it by the Abakababu or whatever his name is and fell a lot. That's a bummer. Actually, without sending water to the tower, I'm not sure I can get to the save point in here. I'll poke in a little further, um, but we may save that for later. So these are the Abaku that I can't quite see. This this took me a long time to figure out that you can climb on these girders. They don't look like it. I mean, this ramp you're walking on doesn't look like it either, so... You can... And do you see the slightly, barely visible high alpha something. Uh, okay. I'm going to read the tablet. That's going to be a hard jump. I'm going to see if I can fall down from above. Nice. A hunk of flying iron, a machine created by the sixth child. It will begin to move when thou holds a golden key in hand. So that's referring to... Um, I'm actually going to fight a boss on a flying platform. That's referring to that. I don't think I can do much over here yet. This is uh, untranslatable tablet. What's that symbol in the background? That's a symbol of the Eye of Truth, and that's just... Um, I think if I revisit here with the Eye of Truth, there'll be a dais I can activate. So flooding the tower, so you, these tubes on the left here, uh, sending water to the tower will make water flow out of that um, grating above me. And I will be able to swim through those areas. But like I said, uh, it locks off that one part possibly forever, or at least it, it floods it with water. I don't know if that means it's inaccessible to me or not. There's something up here. Nope, I might need a key to do that. Keep fairy, I mean. I think there's a, a hidden thing up there that the Keep Fairy could get. He who possesses wisdom wields the ultimate power. Mature and balanced spouse with thy own without all knowing. If thy deem thyself ready, proceed to balance the spirits. So that's a clue about uh, that crazy puzzle I've been talking about to get the best whip, where you need to balance the gemstones and their meaning and so forth. 
Um, so this is the tower we would climb, and I think we can only climb it. Maybe we can climb the whole thing. Maybe I'm misremembering that. We'll see in a second, but I think we can only climb it partially. After thine ascension to the tower, a foothold lies in front of the goddess statue to proceed right. That's what, seek that which flies to the right. To proceed left, seek that which flies to the left. So that's indicating that once I do some stuff here, some flying machines will appear, and if I break them, uh, I will be able to pass the statues above uh, to the left or to the right. So I'm pausing here because the statue to the right also has an interesting quirk to it. Is, is that it, I can walk into the middle of it here, and there's actually an entrance here. I can go into, but it's just a big empty room. I don't know if there's any significance to that either. So we're going to see how much of this tower we can climb. If we can climb the whole tower, we can get to the save point. It's right at the top of the tower. Uh, the Elder said something which I will respond to right after I... Pot. How to climb the tower. It's me. Let me tell you how to climb the tower. Isn't there an elevator that takes you to the top? Sure, it'd be nice to have that, but is there something you could use that, like that inside the ruins? If not, the only way is to hang onto the walls and jump from wall to wall. So he's suggesting I do the wall jump like with the claw, but uh, it's easier just to double jump for the most part. I don't think there's any, any claw jump you can do that isn't easier than to do as a double jump. Can you double jump after a claw push? No. Okay, we made it. We can climb the tower right away. So let me kill this guy and touch the save point. Uh, behold the Tower of the Goddess is where the Mother's wishes are granted. I'll read this tablet, and then I'm going to show a really convenient secret. To the left lies the secret of light, to the right the power of destruction. It's hinting at which zones are connected here. Um, but so now I'm going to fall down the tower. I guess I should fall down the tower right here. And I'm going to do that once or twice more. game going to make a liar out of me if I'm doing this for nothing. Um, the reason I'm doing this... I is, land on the statue. Uh, maybe. The reason I'm doing that is um, after you fail to... If you fail to climb the tower a few times, but you have successfully climbed the tower, a door will open and it'll let you just like basically take an elevator up. But it doesn't seem to be showing up. Oops, I had to have that bag I buy. Shut up. Door shows up here. I think I can actually look at a small opening in the wall. Maybe you have to examine both of them first. Because the other one is... Here. Alright, connect the openings, please. Nothing? Well, it's unimportant, uh, since I can teleport anyway. I will just reveal... Oh, I'm quite low on life again. That's okay, we're just about done here. So, here's a goddess statue that I could pass to a zone on the left. Um, and again, I need to fight the flying machines to get through that. Um, and I need to flood the tower in order to release the flying machine. And then similar situation on the right here. Another goddess statue that I can make disappear, and I can get the, the reverse of zone 2. 
that's that area you were asking about earlier, Chris, down there. Uh, he said, is that a hidden passage in the icy area? This connects to that. Those leaving this land, remember this, we cannot grant the mother's witch. wish. To which generation of the mother's children dost thou belong? The second child desires that the mother's wishes come true. money. I'll go back to the surface. Um, we got about 15 minutes. We could call it a little early and talk some strategy or clear up any confusion you guys have. Or I could maybe poke around in the twin labyrinth a little bit more. What are you guys feeling up for? I have no intelligent questions about you actually doing stuff. <laughs> Try key fairy again. Oh, that's a good point. Yes, we definitely should do that. Good suggestion. I was honestly playing Crusader Kings while watching you, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's quite all right. All right, let's see if we can get the right key fairy. Now that I know what I'm doing, shame I wasted it last time. Oh, so you'll notice, you probably won't notice, but over here on the left and over here on the right are symbols. Those were current, those were previously covered until I read the clue about um, opening the, the sluice gates and then press that dais in the tower. So now I can go to those and flood the tower, which we'll wait to do next week. They are very faded in the background for something you have to interact with. Yep. I'm going to count off the phrase again. That was health. 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 <laughs> it's mostly health. Still health. More health. Oh my gosh. It's a mean trick. You don't even need health. <laughs> For goodness sake, that was quite a run of healths. Is. Still going. Is, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's the luck fairy. Health. I think that's a key. Getting keys really easily tonight. It's kind of weird. Um, so we wanted to go to the Gate of Illusion. There's actually another key fairy location I could go to. Maybe I'll try to do both of them tonight. You only get to fire one key fairy at a time, though. Or uh, rather, once the key fairy is used, um, she'll go away, and then you have to wait for the fairies to respawn. Hey, thank you, fairy. Open the friggin' chest, finally. Yes, yes, open it up. Alright, now we got the fairy clothes, which now we take half damage, which is gonna be awesome. So I am gonna actually gonna get the other fairy thing. Uh, there's a quick way to do it. Um, and I will go ahead and go back to the spring in the sky. And I will do an actual save here. And then I'm going to quit. And not continue, but load the save I just made. And that should reset the fairies. So what you just did is my idea for waiting for the words to... Oh, sure, maybe. But I, mean, I, can, I can only load there's at... There's point yeah. in that room. There's not a save point in that room. Okay. Still, I think I think it's that's my idea. I mean, after this, we can go to that room and like look at it a little bit. I wouldn't mind. That was a weapon fairy. Is 
that a key fairy? That might be a weapon fairy. It's a weapon fairy. Um, okay. Should we do a reset? I guess. I guess. Sorry, this process is annoying. We only have to do it a few times that I know of. Oops, I continued. I don't think that's right. Find out, I guess. If it is, that actually saves me some some steps. Well, it does work. Okay, so all you have to do is return to the title screen and continue. That's more convenient. I believe in you, Key Fairy. I think that's weapon. That's luck. I think that's weapon. Luck again. Still more luck. Still more luck. A good run of lucks. Weapon. Weapon. Come on, help me out. You're getting into the habit of not waiting. You're going to end up jumping back when you get when you see it. Maybe. <laughs> but it does let you know which one you're getting, because the weapon fairy doesn't really get on screen by the time you transition. Okay, that, that might be a good guide. I don't have a perfect measure, I just kind of eyeball it between those two. Oh, goodness. Come on, don't take the rest of the night doing this. It's awful streaming. Missed. Missed the fairy! You're slipping. That's a weapon. Ah, this might be not worth it at the moment. That's a weapon, or that's a key. We're gonna go to the Tower of the Goddess. Over here is a thing. Balder, and this lets our weapons have this little traily effect, which makes their hit zone wider, but the, where the hit zone is wider does less damage. Alright, so, per Chris's request, we'll spend our last five minutes here in the Inferno Cavern, and we'll go to the giant statue. So, interestingly, there's also a giant statue here. I don't think this is the right one, though, because it's smaller, and this is called the Hall of Worship. And I believe the other the other room is actually called like the, the giant statue or something. What about that thing? What what thing? On the left there, what's that? It is nothing. You can't examine that. It is just decoration. Yeah. It, it stands out a lot for being nothing. It sure does. Is that the only case of something like that? So, but I don't know. We can look around for other things of those. For sure. It's just interesting what, what in this game stands out and what doesn't, and what is important, what isn't. <laughs> and those two don't always overlap. 
Like, I'm seeing these other columns, but they don't quite look like that. Um, interestingly, in this room is another one of the crucifixes, and this is the statue. So this is called the Statue of the Giant, which makes me pretty sure this is the area where I'm going to get the mantra word. Now, I can't collect any mantra word right now, so what we do here is probably not going to be useful, but um, this is, this is, I'm pretty sure, a location of one of the mantra bits if I understand the clues correctly. So soak it in, see if it inspires you. I don't know what, what waiting here would mean. Pointing you... upward. She sure is, but there's nothing breakable up here. You made dust fall off her, her elbow, that's interesting. Yeah, there's a dust particle effect wherever you walk. Is there? Yeah. The falling dust, specifically. That seems to be, yeah, oh. does appear on other platforms. Okay. Do you ever get into the lava below her? I can. I have the ice cloak, so I won't take much damage. I can talk to this guy. I haven't talked to him yet. You can't I'm... make anything fall from above, right? Uh, I don't think that there is, at least per the map, an area above here. Um... Because the map loops, it means the area below might be the area above here, but okay. if that's the way to deal with this, uh, I don't know how to do it. Uh, I'm sinking. I'm going to sink in the lava and be engulfed in flames. Damn it. I'll be back. But not really. I'm Termin this is just a Terminator reference. The great Terminator reference. Yeah. And it looks like you can leave this room from the right in the lava. Right. Some secret money. Oh, and there's your uh, crucifix thing. But I think you already said that. Yeah, I did say that. And that ground having a uh, slightly different pattern means nothing. It doesn't seem to. I am curious. Actually, here, let me look at the map. Let me pull up the map. So this room is going to be above... Where is that? So that's gonna be above the blue door right that's gonna be the area below let me try let me try I'm gonna follow that suggestion here briefly if I can go down from here this should be above the goddess statue so I'm gonna uh, wave my dagger around here a bunch oh I don't I don't recall seeing you do anything that crossed over like that but I was yeah, we have done it at least once, and it does do things kind of like that sometimes. But yeah, there does not seem to be anything here. Okay, thanks for entertaining. But I'm good. curious, like, it, I haven't worked it out yet. But uh, we are at time, so uh, I guess I'm going to go back to the surface and top off everything. And we'll do a real save, and... Uh, Good progress. I think I think we're not quite going to finish next session, but I, I'm certain we'll finish the following session. So if y'all are willing to stick it out with me, uh, that will be... Finish, finish, or just get to the confusing part? Well, get to the confusing part. Well, that, I guess that's up to you guys, right? <laughs> that's right. We need to solve it. Let's get on the case. All right. To refresh for everybody else, my theory was that you have to go to that room, quit, go to the title screen, watch all the words appear on the title screen, and then go back to that room. That seems it, excessive, but... Uh, it could be something camera. weird and esoteric like that. Yeah. I haven't shown you some of the weird and esoteric puzzles yet. We'll be doing some of those next week. Um, but yeah, I, I think we're up. Thanks, guys. We'll uh, right. see you next week. Good day. Next time. <laughs>